Good afternoon, sweet friends. It is Sunday afternoon and I have been waiting for a few days to open up this very special package. My swim coach from over 40 years ago reached out to me. I started swimming in middle school or at the time it was called junior high school and I was like in seventh grade. And Coach Levine, Coach Harvey, Harvey Levine was the swim coach and at Apopka, junior high, it was the first year there was ever a swim team. And so I tried out and made the team and um, my brother also swam and my aunt. And then when I graduated from high school, then my younger siblings swam for Coach Levine. And so he's just a really special man in our lives. And I had not seen him after I graduated and so it was probably 35 or 36 years ago before, since I had seen him. And um, kind of during the COVID time and a little bit after that, I wasn't working as Miss Annie. And so I was able to just go to Florida where my mom lives and visit her a lot. And so Coach Levine knew that I was gonna be there. And so he said, I'll drive up from the Orlando area to your mom's to see you guys. Um, we were getting together as siblings, so my brother Mark was there, and my brother Tom was there, and my sister Angela, and then um, my aunt, who's a year older than me, Janice, came. And so Coach Levine came, and we had the best time talking with him. Um, he has always taken such good care of himself, and I think what I've learned, especially um, because we're Facebook friends, is he has just this most amazing positive attitude. And um, he's been through a lot. He lost his wife early, um, and that was so hard. And then he has had a more kind of recent bout with cancer. And I watched his journey, and he just kind of moved through that with just this attitude of, you know, just knowing that he could do hard things and be strong during that time, such a beautiful example. But I'm gonna tell you a little story about him. Um, one of the things that he would tell us all the time is, he would just say that when we were in a race, that we just couldn't give up. Like you don't give up in the race at any time, at any point. And one of the things he would say is, never put your feet down. So, and I might cry about this. And that has been the most, like one of those times in your life, you know, when someone you look up to says something to you that just really sticks. Well, I, he put me in a race that I was not used to, which was the individual medley, which means that you swim every single stroke. So you swim the backstroke, you swim the free style, you swim breaststroke, and you swim the butterfly stroke. And I was not good at butterfly at all. I mean, I tried it over and over again. He would have us practice that, but my strength really was freestyle and endurance. I could swim all of these long distances. But anyway, at one of the meets, like he surprised me and put me in this individual medley and I was dying during the butterfly. <laughs> Makes me cry. <laughs> anyway, and I was actually crying <laughs> during the butterfly because it was two laps of the pool and I was in dead last probably a, at least a length behind everybody else. And Coach Levine was right here on the side of the, on the pool deck, just telling me to keep going and don't put your feet down. And so I swam that and I finished that and I never put my feet down because let me go back. As soon as you put your feet down and you're swimming away, you're out of the race. And so like, you can't just put your feet down and then start again. So that's the significance of that. So it just means finish the race and don't put your feet down. So just in my life, 
I've always remembered that. And um, in anything that I've ever tried to do or have been through, you know, the mantra, you know, don't put your feet down and stronger every day and I can do hard things and the things that help you when things get tough and get hard. So I wanted to give you a little background about Coach Levine before I open up this package from him. He reached out to me probably a week and a half ago. Um, he has retired and sold his house in the Orlando area and moved to Melbourne, which is near, I believe it's Cocoa Beach. Um, and he now has a home, a condo, I believe, on the beach. And he posts the most beautiful videos, but also pictures. So he takes pictures and he sells them like at little, you know, little, um, I guess like, I'm trying to think, it's like, the word is escaping me, that he'll go to like these little trade shows. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And he'll sell his photography of the beach. And so he sent me some pictures. He messaged me and he said, these are some of my favorites and I want you to pick out two and I will send them to you. And so it was so hard to decide because they were so beautiful. And so I picked out two and that is what is inside here. And I'm gonna show them to you. And I'm gonna try really hard to not cut them. And I'm just so touched that he would just, you know, send this to me. He said, I want you to have some new pictures to put in your home. And so I want you to see how beautiful his photography is. I can get it open. Let's see. I think I can cut it this way. Oh my goodness. Coach, I love the way that you have that on your pictures. Okay. Oh, okay, look. Can y'all see? First of all, I am really touched by this, but I might be a little tired too. But look, isn't that so beautiful? That turtle headed toward the sunset. I love it. And then, so this one I picked out because, do you see that fishing pole? Daryl loves to fish. And then, those are our pelicans. Look at their, look at the movement and the way the sun is going down. Isn't that so cool? I just love them. Thank you so much, coach. <laughs> You're just the best. Thanks for encouraging me. Thanks for all of your hard work and the coaching that you did for just, um, all of us years and years. So, you know, I appreciate so much um, the teachers who have always inspired me and have encouraged me to be the best that I can be. And part of the reason why I'm able to just kind of do the things that I do is because of what I've been taught from some really amazing people. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I just want to say thank you, coach. You're the best. And I'm going to remind everybody to be stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things and don't put your feet down. Love you guys. Bye.